This video is intended for students who have written the text for your thesis, project, or dissertation in a Word document that is not one of the uh, text composer or template shell files. In other words, you just wrote it in regular Microsoft Word, and now you need to copy and paste it into the final um, template shell. So just doing a regular copy and paste from these non-template files into a template file like the text composer or template shell can cause format problems uh, because you're pasting text that already has style information associated with it. And that style could override the styles in the templates. So I'll show you an example. I'm going to copy a paragraph here from this kind of fake document that I created. I'm going to click copy, then I'm going to open up a new um, text composer document. I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to just do control V, just a regular paste. So something that you may have noticed is when I pasted that in, this normal template just appeared up here, this normal style, I mean. Uh, this style was not in the template file to begin with. It appeared when I pasted in this text from a different uh, non-template file. And that's not good because we don't want Calibri 11 point appearing here. So that's why you don't just want to do a regular copy-paste because it could change the margins. It could change a lot of things that are set in the template file. So I'm going to close that. So what I'm going to show you now is a method for doing that that preserves the formatting in the, in the template file. And the way to do that is you, you still want to highlight the text that you're going to um, copy and paste over. And you want to keep going. And highlight the whole chapter. My suggestion to you is to take this a chapter at a time. Do it in manageable pieces. Don't just do the whole thing all at once. So I'm going to copy this for my chapter 4. And I'm going to hit control C. And I'm going to put it first in this text composer document and get everything styled. And then we'll paste it into the template shell. So here's the text composer. I'm going to select all of this placeholder text and delete it. Now watch this. I'm going to first click on the document text style. Then I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose this option here, Merge Formatting. What that is doing is it's pasting that entire text in as a document text style. And that's good because most of the text is document text, right? Headings and other um, content is in the minority. So that saves you from having to style all of your text according to document text. Then I'm going to go through and apply these styles. So I'm going to apply the chapter title style to my chapter. And you may have seen in an earlier video that we want to avoid these being each different paragraphs because the table of contents will read them as separate entries. So what we need to do is um, delete that up onto the same line, and then hold Shift and press Enter. And that creates a line break instead of a paragraph break, which means that the table of contents will understand it all as one um, item. And then we simply go to each one of our headings, click on it, and uh, click on the style associated with it. So this is a level one heading, I'm going to click on level one. This is a level one heading, click on level one. It's best to avoid having chapter titles alone at the bottom of the page. So I'm going to push this down, get rid of any extra spaces that may have been introduced. Also, I've seen sometimes um, extra indentations. So you want to go through and delete any extra indentations in your text. This is a level one. This is a level two. This is a level two. OK, and we've come to a table here. Now, pasting in this way can introduce some issues with your table because it 
indents every line, the document text style indents every new line, and it applies, I'm going to highlight this and click this little button here so we can see the paragraph styling. It makes the line spacing 24 point font. So you can see here an indentation is half an inch and the line spacing is 24 point. We don't probably want that style in our table. So if you click on this little icon here, it will select the entire table and you can come up here to paragraph and you can make it no indentation and you can say single spacing for the lines. And that looks much better. You want to fix your um, headings too. And we have another video for how uh, to apply properly the uh, style headings for um, table and figure captions. So uh, this is definitely a table caption. And this is a level one heading. <coughs> and this is a level one heading. And we'll put it at the bottom of the page. Now that we've done that, we want to select the entire document. Another shortcut for that is to press Control A and then Control C or copy. Now we can go to our dissertation um, text composer document. We can And then here you don't have to do any special paste. You can just paste it in with keep source formatting. Or you can just press control V. That's the same thing. So now we have our chapter four in here and it looks the same. It looks good. Now we can come up to our table of contents. Click in the table of contents. You see here we only have chapter one, chapter two, and chapter three. So we're going to go to References, Update Table, and Update Entire Table. And now we have our Chapter 4 in there. And if you make any modifications, you, all you have to do is go up to this Table of Contents, click in it, and click Update Table, and it will um, create those, it will update the page numbers to reflect those modifications.